organ was installed in the Boyd Theater in Philadelphia in 1928 and first played on Christmas Day of 1928. In 1968, it was donated to the John Dickinson High School. And then since 1970, we've been giving concerts here. The RKO Stanley Warner Company, who owned the theater at that time, inventoried all of their assets to see what they might be able to donate. So I made an application and lo and behold, the Boyd Theater organ was eventually given to us. And uh, it has become the fourth largest theater pipe organ in the world. There's something about the music that just catches you. It's, it's, it's a, a different sound, it's a magical sound. It's like controlling a hundred piece orchestra. It's unbelievable because you have full control over this mammoth sound. The theater organ itself was a unique instrument because it was used for the orchestra of the silent era. There is a magic that happens between the audience, the organ, and me. I'm not just playing to them, I'm playing for them. And there's a difference. This is my 30th concert coming up. That's 30 years. Coming to play this instrument, it's like a, coming home to an old friend. A theater organ concert should be fun. We have a sing-along for the audience. Just like they did in the 20s, when we have it on the screen with the words and everything, it's a lot of fun. People love to sing. I'm creating. I'm creating what used to be, live. I just hope it continues on for years and years and years. Our joy is to see the smiles on the happy faces of people when they leave after a concert. I want them to come and enjoy and have fun because that is what a theater organ concert is, fun. <laughs>